Recently I was asked by a GP user, how can they take an item out of inventory and use it and consume it, and how can they take an item out of inventory and turn it into a fixed asset and do these steps easily. So let's address the fixed asset section first. So this answer came to me uh, via the very brilliant and lovely Mariano Gomez. He's a fellow MVP of mine. It's in his blog and I will put his blog link in the text that is accompanying this video so you could peruse his blogs. But he presented a very simple and very easy to use uh, methodology for transferring an item from inventory into fixed assets. Okay, so I have this 17 inch monitor and I want to transfer one of these monitors to the desk, to someone's desk in our office. So you can see I have 10 available and if I were to drill down on this item I could see that my cost is $198 per monitor. So I'm going to close this out and just to cheat a little bit I'm going to copy that item number right there using control C and I'll close this window out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the in transit transfer feature of inventory and this utilizes inventory and purchase order processing. So under inventory transactions and you can tell uh, by the way my screen looks I'm in GP 2013 so, but this uh, is also available in GP 2010. So I'm going to choose the in transit transfer entry here and I'm going to create a new transfer. And I'm going to transfer from the warehouse site where I have those in stock via my transfer site which is just a virtual site that, I, uh, that is set up in the system for inbound and outbound transfers and I'm going to send it to a site I've set up called Fixed Assets. And this site is just a holding spot, a fake holding spot for items that are fixed assets. It just gives me a two site, right? Okay, so I'm going to now populate in my monitor and I'm going to skip past the reason code and I'm going to say we just want one. So we're transferring one item from the warehouse site to the fixed asset site. And if I were to click on distributions, you could see it's actually using the same GL account in the general ledger. So there's nothing that's going to post in the general ledger here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on ship. Now, the reality is when you're using in transit, ship means basically when it leaves your site and it's now in like a truck or a vir this virtual site. But in this scenario, we're going to pretend that somebody went and picked it up. And so our inbound and outbound site is... Um, you know, Bob Jones walking down the hallway with a monitor. So let's go ahead and close that out. So now we're going to skip to purchase order processing and under purchasing in transactions I'm going to choose receiving transaction entry and I will then change my type to in transit inventory and I will auto receive and now you can see here's that one monitor that I have in receiving and it has the cost of $198. So I'm going to mark that as received. I'm going to go ahead and select the serial number and I'll click OK. All right. So now what I'm going to do, if I were just to do this, then basically all I've done is just move it to another site, right? So but what I'm going to do is just highlight this item and under item here, I'm going to click on the expansion button. So I'm in the receiving items item entry, detail entry window. And I'm going to select that this is a capital item and when I do I want you to notice this button it now becomes available. And if I were to click on this button I get some additional fixed asset information that I could populate. So for example I could populate with an asset ID or I could populate with whatever I happen to know about this item. Now what I know now that is going to be considered computer equipment so I know which class it's in and I know that maybe the physical location is going to be in the Atlanta office and I might even know whose desk it's going to sit on. It's going to sit on let's say John Shen's desk. So I select that. So I have all this information that I know right now and I'm going to go ahead and just click on save. All right, and I'll click on save again, close this out. Now because I marked it as a capital item, it's going to know that it goes into the fixed asset account and it's going to move out of the inventory account. So I will just simply click on post and close out all my posting windows. 
So now if I skip over to the financial series, particularly in uh, fixed assets, under cards, we're going to select general, and I'm going to give it an asset ID. So we'll call it um, monitor M1700 Shen, right? I just did that so it would be easy for us to find. And I'll tab off my asset ID, and I'll click on my purchase button, and here is the monitor and you can see the purchase amount is $198. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And now it's already populated all of the information that I've already told it, uh, told it about. And I could have populated more information had I, had I chosen to. So I'll simply click on Save. You would then finish populating whatever you need to populate. And then at that point, you're ready to run your GL posting process. Here's our monitor, and then you can go ahead and post it. So that is a very fabulous way that Mr. Gomez came up with, and it's detailed on his blog. I just uh, utilized his excellent work. Okay, so now let's jump back to inventory. So let's address the second part of this scenario, where you have some inventory items and you want to consume them. So you want to take them out of inventory and make them usable. So for this, I'm going to use a new feature in GP 2013. So what we want to do is let's go to Setup in Inventory, and we're going to do a Reason Code Setup. And um, we'll create one called Company Use. to use within the company. And I'm going to utilize this on adjustments. And it's only going to be on decreases, for example. So it'll only be available for decreases. So I'm going to then look up the expense account that I want to use. And maybe I wanted to go to Supplies Hardware Accounting. And I will save that. So now, in inventory, when I want to consume some of these products, one of the products I want to consume is I have some surge protectors out here. So in inventory, I'm going to do a transaction entry, and I'll do an adjustment, and I'll be taking these out of the warehouse site. So here are my surge protectors. And for starters, I'm just going to remove two from inventory, and I'm going to leave the reason code blank, because I want you to see the distribution is 1312. So now I'm going to come in and do a lookup, and I have this one available to me, Company Use, and I'll select it. And now when I look at the distributions for this account, you can see it's using my Supplies Hardware account. So not only am I reducing inventory, but I'm expensing it into the account I wanted to go in as well. And because I'm doing it this way, I have an audit trail code. So let me go ahead and post that. And Jean? This one was just for you, and a special thanks to my good friend, Mariano Gomez. Hope this helps.